Hello everyone. Well, it is lunchtime someplace. So uh, today it's um, I'm playing with the Price Peony. I'm not sure if how we say it, but that's how I say it. Uh, it is a trick on how to put it together, but when you're going to see the trick, anybody can do it. it the designer of this uh, die put everything for us to do it so, so simple. So that's what I'm going to share. I'm going to share a few cards also that I did with the bundle. Uh, I see some people are joining in, so awesome. See, I get some different card also. Uh, I'm going to share that. Um, I got more coming out with that too. I know I got some for um, a customer appreciation or a class, so on. So I'm looking on the side there, see, okay, it looks like uh, people are joining in. If uh, you're not a subscriber, right below, click the subscribe and also click the little bell to get notified. I plan to pop in at lunchtime once a week. Uh, always a different day. Try to uh, shake that up a little bit so if people are working certain day, so on. I love it when you guys are in live, but um, I won't set a date for this one live. Like Thursday night, I am live on uh, Facebook, but this one's going to be off different dates, put it that way. You know, on Monday, Wednesday, and th uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I post a video at those days, 99% of the time. But then I'm going to have one more during the week live at lunchtime. So you want to subscribe. So if you're out gardening or you're out running errands, you're out at work, when you get back, if you get the notification when you open your device, it's going to tell you I was live so you can come and see what it was all about. Or if you're around, you can join us live. Also, quick reminder, tomorrow it's the last day. It's the last day for the extra $25 of stamping rewards. That's its own all order of $250 and above. You get an extra 25 so let's say your order it's 250 before tax and shipping you're going to get 50 dollars of free product of your choice and now if you like even a better a humongous mega deal that is the 99 dollars again i cannot say it enough it's no string attached it's no contract nothing with 99 dollars you're going to get to choose 125 dollars of product of your choice you're going to get, on top of the 125 a bundle with a stamp set, page 173 to 179. That is a bundle with a stamp set and a die, or 168, 169. I said it so often, I know it by heart now. 168, 169, that is with a punch and a stamp set. Today I'm using uh, the Price uh, Peony that would be a stamp bundle, so you can get that for free. So you can go almost to 200 or even above 200 for $99. It's shipped to you for free. And also you're going to get a paper pumpkin from the past. That's another $22 uh, value. The paper pumpkin, you won't see it in your thing when you fill out everything. That is where the business supplies, you're going to click uh, you have to click. You cannot bypass that. Even if you don't plan to do a business, you want a good deal, you want to be a discount shopper, you have to click that. And that's where the stamp set's going to be. Uh, I mean, the paper pumpkin's going to be. So it's no string attached. I'm going to say 95%, 94, 96, 95% of my team are uh, what we call obvious or discount shopper. All are welcome, and I get about 5% that do the business like I do. So you're all welcome. It is no string attached, no commitment that you have to do, exception if you want to stay active. It's 300 quarterly of purchase or sale that for a quarter. So 300, that's before you discount. The minimum discount, it's 20% on all your order. So that average, uh, that would be a 240, uh, 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 yeah, 240. So that average $80 a month. 
if you want to stay active and get your discount. I see everybody jumping in. So that end tomorrow. You don't want to miss out. I always say don't wait on the last day in case the computer crash, in case that something happened, you have to get out or you get problems signing in and so on. Uh, stepping up close at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I always say Ooh, don't wait after they're closed. So I say go ahead today. If you have to wait for tomorrow payday, I would say if possible, do it before 7 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow night because if we encounter a problem, then stamping up it's open. So let's get started. Let's stamp on lunchtime. Let's go. Here we go. And up and down. Okay, now let me adjust um, the light here. Let me adjust the light. And let's go here. That looked better. That sure do look better at my end. Okay, so I got uh, some stuff that I pre prepare. So, um, and this is the card that we're going to make. Well, that was one of, oh, that's too light. One minute. No, 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 no. Color is not good. Okay, that much better. That's more true colors. Okay, so I'm going to share with you how to do a um, die cut this. This is watercolor paper we're using today. And uh, how to assemble that. First, you look at that, you're like, what the heck? Well, it's simple. So, and also at the end, I'm going to share these beautiful cards here. Some of it, it's video coming up and so on, but I'm going to share that with you today. So what I pre-done, it is I die cut. So this is the die cut here. So it is a 17 die of the die cut. Yes, 17. So the border there, that's what I done at the bottom here. See? Uh, you got one, two, three, and then four. That's these ones. So the small, the next one in size, the next one in size, and then the next one. So that's the four you need to build that pop-up 3D flower. And then you get the big die. You got so you got a die for every stamp set pretty much in there, I think. And so you get this die, you get this, this. So yeah, you get it all. See the big one? That's the stamp set. Here we go. So it is a mega. Uh, bundle, put it that way that I say. If you're wondering in the catalog, let me, um, I had my page open, then I helped a customer just before going live and I shut my page. So here it is. So the suite, I listed the suite above and I'm still not happy with the color. Let me, uh, it's not, um, this don't thrill me here. One second. That's not good. Okay, that looked good. Let's try that that way. That looked much better on the catalog, right? Um, maybe a little bit too bright. One second. I don't... Okay, maybe that's better. So on page 82 and 83, that is the suite, okay? So you get the suite, everything is listed in the suite, and then over here, you get more sample. And what you see in the catalog, the size of this, it is the true size. That, what you see, it's what you get. So yeah, you get the die for all this and more with the dies, see? Here we go. So. What I done, I pre die a uh, pre cut or die cut the shape. First thing we're gonna do is watercolor. So let me bring 
piece of paper here that we're going to do our watercolor. And talking about watercolor, you will notice that we got new aqua painter that we used to call. Now it's called paint, uh, water painters. And let me give you a little crash course on this because it's the reverse of what we used to you know what, let me move that there, so now I know about where to go. Here we go. So, <clears throat> what I was saying about those aqua painter, it's usually it's a righty, a lefty tighty, no, a righty, tighty, right, left, now I cannot remember, righty tighty, Lefty Lucy. Yeah, Lefty Lucy, Righty Tidy. Well, this is, see, if you go like this, it don't open. You have to do it on the other side. So you flip this way. So it's reverse of what usually you would open something. And you put the water in there. See, I'm so used. So it's the reverse. So just think with your reverse. So this is the fat brush. It's awesome for a background. When you close this, don't go just like this. You're going to damage your brush. So squeeze your brush so it fit all in the, the, the cover, and then you can close it. And then we got the medium size, and they open the same way, and the water go in, and then you get the fine tip. We're going to use the medium one today. And um, this one here, I use Rococo Rose. This time we're gonna use. Uh, this time we're gonna use a uh, blushing a bright. Yes, blushing. Uh, no, petal pink. Petal pink. I'm sorry, petal pink. It's more like a peachy color, and I want. Uh, you know what? I don't have in my little. Uh, oh, I can get it. I know where it is. <clears throat> Let me put, um, I find it easier sometimes when I do a big project to put ink right in here. So let me uh, get my petal pink and I'm going to put one drop is going to be enough. I'm 99% sure that one drop, maybe I'm going to need more, but okay. You want to wet your brush. Anytime you want a watercolor, you want to wet your brush first, okay? Now, this one, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I did the top of the petal. Now, I'm going to do the bottom of the petal. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start a little bit here. And where I get all the extra line, you see it's kind of die cut there. That's where I'm going to put my color. And you know what? I like to wet my paper any time before I start, and I find this to go much, e oh, I got a stubborn little hair here, I think that was a dog hair. I'm just going to add at the bottom. See, this is more like a peachy color than a pink. I know it's called petal pink, but it's very a peachy color. So I'm just going to add the bottom there, right there where, and then if we want to add more, when we're going to, after it's assembled, we're going to add more. So I'm just adding at the bottom. So the top's going to be a lighter. So I'm reversing from the other one. The other one, I did all the top. This one, I'm doing the bottom. So here we go. See, as I brush, I get the pin to there. And then, oh, I want to brush this here. I find it much, much easier when your paper it's wet before you start watercoloring. Uh, if your paper it's not wet, it's going to make, I'm going to show you in a minute, okay? I can show you at the bottom and we won't see, uh, here we go, darker to lighter that I'm going here. So this here going to go in the back, so I won't wet this and see when I start painting. See, you get a dark spot, and it doesn't matter how much you move, you see, you get that dark spot. You see that? 
So that's why you want to wet your paper before you start watercoloring. That's going to make a big difference. How do you get out of the desktop view? Not big enough. It should be the little, uh, it's kind of a like little arrow, I think, at the bottom. Maybe somebody is on that can answer that because I don't see the view that you view there. Okay, so again, remember I said we're going to wet this. Always wet. If not, you're going to get that chunky there. So that's what you don't want to get. It's that chunky when you watercolor. So if you wet your paper first, it's much easier. Okay, now we're going to let that dry. I didn't want to do the other one. I wanted to assemble it live because it was dry. But then I wanted to take a picture to put at the beginning of my video. So I did. So now let's leave that just like this. And I'm going to keep this here because I'm pretty sure we're going to add more color. Um, I got it. Perfect. We're going to let this dry. You can always use the E tool, but we're going to go ahead and start the other way. So I'm going to go ahead with a piece of uh, Whisper White for our inside. So let me reach for a piece of Whisper White, and we're going to stamp this uh, flower, the peony, the full size one without the leaf. So you get like, call that the jumbo, regular size, and the mini, okay? So large, medium, and small. We're doing the medium. And I'm gonna stamp that with gray granite. Yes, gray granite. So let me, and I'm gonna put that at the bottom right here just off the corner, so it's gonna be kind of off. Just my, see how pretty that is, it is gorgeous. Now, I'm gonna use, uh, let me use blush, petal pink, I do have petal pink, and I'm gonna use the light yellow, that is Daffodil Delight, just for the center, okay? And when I say very little, I'm just going to add a little bit inside that. Now, when it comes with the blends here, I don't want to color the whole thing. The only thing that I'm going to color, and this is the dark one. I'm just going to color where the artist already put the shading or the darker spot. That's what I'm going to add over there, just where it is. So I'm going to use the brush shy, and I'm just going to add a little bit where it is the dark. Even if you go past that, that's perfect. You just add a little bit. This is the dark one. So I'm just going over the, the gray granite where it's all that shaded spark. Barely touch your paper. I barely, really, barely touch the paper. And then I'm going to go and just use a little bit of light one to add here and there. So now you see how I color this one. You can, it's some nice one in like a deep red in this, some in the yellow. So. I think those flowers come in many, many different shapes. Absolutely. So now I got pretty much all where the artist already put the darker spot. So let me bring that closer so you can see it. So let me bring that closer to you. Can you, I think if I bend it this way, you can see better. So you see, I still have plenty of white. Oh, I just want to add a little bit more of a deeper there, just at like at the bottom of each petal, but very little. 
keep more white than pink, okay? Or I should say peachy because it's a very peachy color. Here we go. Now that is done. So my inside, it's done. You want to do your inside before you, you uh, attach it and glue it inside because, well, this one just a little bit, but a lot of time it's going to go through the thing. So that's going to go right inside. So let me put this inside. Oh, see the paper left? That's okay. I just back it up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now let's put that inside. And then I'm going to leave it no greeting so I can decide if I want it for wedding. I think this is beautiful for wedding, could be sympathy, could be birthday, whatever you wish for. Now I'm using the designer series paper and this I cut at five and a quarter by uh, four and then ah, uh, what is the measurement on this? This is one and a half. So I cut a strip of one and a half that we're going to put at the bottom. That's, see, this is this here. Well, no. Is it this way? Is it funny? It's like a puzzle. See? Boom. It was this way. See the beautiful print? I just cut that there. So this is going to go up there and this is going to go at the bottom. And I think I want it this way. So let me uh, put my paper right here. And I want my ribbon to go inside. Usually I would put my ribbon just to go at the top. This ribbon that we're using, it is gorgeous. So I want to bring a little bit of pizzazz inside. So I'm going to go all the way inside because if not, I would put my ribbon around this or around the paper. But this time, I want my paper and my ribbon to go all the way inside. Try to match that on each side there. And then I got a little strip of three quarter inch of a petal pink. This glue, it's amazing. Did I say amazing? It is amazing. Here we go. Now you see we get a nice uh, thing. Can you scoop up a bit? Scoop up. Yes, you know what? Instead of scooping up, I'm going to bring my camera down a bit. That's going to be easier. Oh, I see paper pumpkin upside down. My goodness. Okay, let me uh, flip this. Just notice that. Okay. Now this is going to be there. So that should be good, right? That should be good. And you know what? Maybe I can even um, bring you a little bit closer there. Here. Is that better? I think that is better myself. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so you're a little bit closer in. So now we got our base. And this is part of that suite that is the gray granite. It's very shimmery. So if you are new, our challenge to make a bow, this ribbon can be challenged. And the reason why I say that, it's more stiff. It's not like this ribbon here, it's super soft. See, it fall, it's super soft. This one, I call it a beginner ribbon to make a bow. All the in color like that. We got a lot that it's super soft and I call that a beginner ribbon, okay? What I mean by that, it's super easy to make a bow and it stay uh, soft and so on. This ribbon, it's more stiff. So with that being said, uh, if you are challenged to make a bow, this one can be a little bit more challenged. So I'm telling you right up front, I'm not saying this is a friendly for bow making. It is. You still can make a bow because you're going to see I'm going to make one. 
but it's more challenging because it is a stiff ribbon. It's not a soft. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is gorgeous. You get that shimmer to it. It is beautiful. But with that shimmer, it adds this stiffness to the ribbon. Now, I want that right more at this end. So when you go all the way inside, before you tie everything up, you want to look in the back, make sure it's flush, that you didn't twist your ribbon inside. Because you think sometimes, oh, that looked perfect. Well, the ribbon twisted inside. Now, what I'm going to do, I want my bow to go the other way. You always tie your first knot or your first uh, loop. You tie it on the opposite, the other way that you want your bow. So my ribbon go up and down. My bow will go the other way. Okay? So I want to do, I put my finger there and I take the bottom and I do a loop, take the top, and remember, when this video is done, you can watch it again when it comes to the bow, or any place you can stop, rewind, stop, rewind, and play, and so on, and learn the bow. You take the top, you go to the right, and go around your loop you make. You go under, in between there, to the left, and then you squeeze. And then boom, you get a simple bow. It is up and down to the right, to left, under to the left. And see, I get a simple bow. But for me, bows are not challenged. When I learned this trick, for me, the bows was boom, done. I'm going to cut this diagonal and cut this diagonal. Now, it can be loose a bit, so what I like to do is take a, a glue dot. I'm looking for a pair of scissors. Can I have one more thing on my desk? No. Okay, I got a glue dot. Just lift this and place it. So that way it don't show nothing. Now this is off a little bit. I'm just going to swish it a bit, move it. See, just this is pretty, isn't it? You could put a greeting there, it would be pretty. Let's make a bow, though. I mean, let's make a, whatever it's called, uh, the flower. Also, in the suite, we got those vellum. They are square, and they're very kind of all detail. You see, you get some a little ple place that didn't pop the way through. I just put my finger and it go right through, okay? So we're going to put that right here. And somebody uh, asked me, how do you glue your um, a vellum? I got a video on that, but the best way that I find, it was a, I learned that from Linda Bowen, it's you put um, Tombow glue and then use your uh, silicone mat. And then you just, well, I need more glue on this. And I think I need more tumble. Yeah, yeah, I knew I needed more tumble. I did a project, use all my tumble. Do I have another one in here? Yes, I do. You know, you always have to say to have a bunch of glue on hand. So I just put glue there. And this, the beauty of this here, it don't matter where you're going to put your vellum, it don't show. So I just tap, tap, tap all of it. And somebody said you can use um, oh, whatever it's called, uh, some adhesive for a uh, vellum. I tried that and it still showed. Well, this one here, after it dry, nothing showed. Did I say nothing? Nothing showed. So I'm just going to slide that under there, put that here. And voila. So that anytime you get a vellum, the video that I shared like a couple months ago, it was some stamping and all on it. And see, you don't have nothing that show. Okay, so now I got my vellum there. Okay, now this is dry enough. So let's put that back in order the way it should be. Small, 
bigger, bigger, and even bigger. You're going to start with the small one, and if you notice, all the bottom get about the same wave to it. You're going to take the small one, you're going to pass it between the, the next size. Sometimes maybe you have to go sideways a little bit. That's okay. You go sideways. Now look in the back. And I'm going to use a um, tombow here. And I'm going to put tombow just at the bottom here. And you're going to match this perfectly. It's no guessing, okay? It matched perfect. See? Perfect match. See, it don't show nothing in the front. Now you're going to take the next size. You're going to slide it in. That's why you got the extra opening there. You're going to slide it in. I want to make sure that I don't hit the other one. And again, you're going to see it is the perfect match. I'm going to just add a bit of glue there. And you match it. Perfect match in the back. It's no guessing. See how simple that is? Now here's the big one. Again, you're going to put all this in. And again, you will match this. Bring that down. Where I like to pay the most attention, it's that little point there. That's I bring that together. And then I know it's perfect there. And voila! Can it be more simple or what? It is amazing. So I got all at the bottom. I really think I need a bit of my color there. That's why I said we're going to wait and see if we need more color. Well, I think I do. So I'm going to remember you wet. And it's not much color, but I want a little bit, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit. See, we just add one drop, and you see, with one drop, I still have enough. One drop of ink go a long, long ways. Let's add more. more at the bottom and that's going to dry fast because it's just a little bit it's just I didn't want to uh, glue those um, piece together when it was wet because it wouldn't last right how pretty is that that it give all the dimension and everything okay now let me move that and we got that little tiny piece for the center, see, and I cut that in bumblebee. And that's going to go, not the first one, the second one here. I like to shove that just, oops, not so deep, not so deep. And I'm just going to use a glue dots here. So, I was debating, and you can see, I was looking, uh oh, stay there. Um, I was debating where that thing go, but you see in here, let me use this one here, it's more like I do. So it's not the first one, not the second one, and go in between there. So that is right here, between this here. Oh. Come back here. Yeah, voila. Another place can go, it's in between those two. It's no right and wrong. And what I like to do though, it's add a little bit of Wing of Stella to just the bitty part of this here. Just on the tips. Here, voila. You don't see it on the camera, but it adds something. So now that we got that, let's do our leaves. And I got a large, and I got a small, and that's an uh, old olive. 
I got mossy metal for the outline. Okay, mossy metal for the outline. And then pier, um, mossy metal, and old olive. I like to, uh, maybe, maybe you want to sponge it. I did sponge those, right? It don't really show, so you know what? We won't sponge right now. We're just going to go ahead and add our glue. So you can always add a little bit of sponging on the back of your um, flower to add more dimensional. Absolutely. I have to look which way that goes. That don't go this way. Does it go? It go this way. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you can add a little bit more. It's up to you. This, and then we're going to add glue to this little piece here. So Tombow glue would be very friendly for this. Very, very much so. And we're going to put that right here. Okay, now we're re ready to assemble, but I, we're going to add more bling to this. We're going to bling this car. So the pointy, that's the tip, or it could be this one, but I don't think it should go down. It, it leave go up, right? So this is going to be on the outside, and the same, this is going to be on, oh, this one, no, not down, up. It go up, this is going to be on the outside. So I'm going to take, I think that's the way it is. It go up and up, or does it go down? You know what? When you question yourself, yep, it's those points go up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, put a glue dot just in the front of this. And I'm going to bring that right here. And then I'm going to use the little one. Go up. And, oops. And this little one. I'm going to come right there. Here we go. Now we're going to put that right here, and I need to add some dimensional, and I want my flat, my leaves to twist a little bit more up. Here we go. Let's find dimensional. This is almost empty, but that's okay. I'm going to grab, grab my leaves there, over here, and right there. Yeah, the point go up, right? Absolutely. Everybody say up. Yes, up, up, up. The reason why I was questioning myself, it's, <laughs> oops, the, the way that the point is, I guess you could put the leaf at the top, you know, but I want it under. So let me lift this up. Et voila. Oh, one more thing. Can I peel this up? Mm. Well, we're going to do it on this because I think it adds a lot. What I done with the other one, I took a bone folder. This one is, I took a bone folder and I curved this a little bit. See? It adds quite a bit of uh, dimension to the car. So that is something you would like, want to do before you glue it to your card, okay? I think it adds quite a bit of um, depth to uh, the flower. I just curl it a little bit, but you can't see, right? It adds quite a bit. So, one more thing that come in that sweet, it is those elegant face gems. So you get the clear, and this is more like a, a small glass, like, yeah, a small glass, and then you get the one in that uh, pink. So I'm going to add the little one here, 
I'm gonna add one there. I'm gonna add um, the pink and um, the 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 one that I call the kind of that smoke or that etch etching. I think it's etching. So I'm gonna add five in all. One, two, three, and then four. One more. And then uh, five. Right at the top. So now you get a little bit of everything from this bundle, pretty much. Because, uh, I'm not just the bundle, I'm sorry. So we use the Peony uh, stamp set. We use the square villain. We use the designer series paper. We use the uh, face it gem. We use, we didn't use the 3D embossing folder, that's the one like the triangle. And we use the shimmer ribbon. So, uh, everything but the embossing folder, and if I would have paid attention to the embossing folder, I would have put the strip inside, absolutely. So you get pretty much everything in this from uh, the uh, suite. So remember, the bundle, just the bundle, not the suite. The suite, it's 97, including everything. So the bundle, it's 57.50. You can get it for free. I said free. If you join my team for $99, you pick $125, plus you can pick this for free. Remember, this and tomorrow. So here is one. So that was in, um, let me put my blog there so you know where to go to join my team or to place an order. So this was in petal pink, gray granite in the back. This one that I done, and also see, I got the ribbon inside and I got the ribbon inside. So when you open it up, you get a nice decoration also inside. Uh, this one was in the petal pink. Now this year, I just uh, stamp with markers because I use the two color and it's on shimmer um, and cardstock. This is old uh, world uh, paper embossing folder. I sprayed it with alcohol and uh, shimmer paint. So that's why you get all that shimmery in the back. That's just a regular paper black uh, cardstock, but I spray it. And then you got the big die cut for that. And if you notice, one thing that I absolutely love about this die cut, all the center is not all white. You get bits and pieces that cut that also. Is that sweet? Love that. I love when it's more detailed cut out on a big flower like this. Now I did the same thing. This one, it's embossed with white powder and it's on shimmer paint and I just brush the color, the watercolor and it's so simple because you barely have to do nothing, see? And this is the new big background, the dry brush that is this new stamp set. And again, I did a little bow there, very, very simple. This one here, I got a video coming out of that. Um, I did video in the past to stamp on velour or velvet. This is not the $4.99 yard or the $199 yard. It is the like the $17 yard, but you don't need a yard. You need like a strip, right? So it's not expensive at all and you can do many cards. And it's like etch or burn with an iron. I got a video coming on that, that I'm gonna see you do it at your own risk, but it worked lovely. I was getting that out because we got the velvet paper. I tried the velvet paper. It don't work. This technique don't work on the velvet paper. So you really need that expensive velvet for that. So very simple, but you can see all, it's all burned in there. See how beautiful it is. That would make a beautiful uh, anniversary card, wedding card, name it, right? So that is it. So let me flip you back up up and down and let me click on this here that didn't work but we're going to click on this it's going to work here we go 
So I hope that you had a, a lovely time stamping with me at this lunch hour. Remember, I'm going to do that more often. So if you love what I do, if you love what I share, right below, click on that subscribe and also hit that little bell so you get notified. Don't be afraid and buy your friends and so on. That's the best compliment you can give me is share my site with your friends. So I hope that you're going to get part of that amazing, amazing deal. Until next time, happy stamping and I'm going to be right, stand by the phone if you got any question or you can email me. I'm going to be uh, right here to help you join my team. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.